Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Revive Me and today I'm going to show you how to download the Dolphin emulator on dev mode on Xbox. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is at the bottom right where it says remote access, click on the remote access settings. Make sure the enable Xbox device portal is checked and then if it is, at the bottom where it says authentication, you can click on this and set up a username and password so that when you go to the Xbox portal, if anybody by any chance has your information, they would be allowed to drag things onto your Xbox as well. So if you set up a username and password, this will prevent that from happening. And then once you have done that, at the top underneath enable Xbox device portal, you will have two different browser links that you could search. I bet now all we have to do is type in one of the two links into our web browser are on PC and we're gonna do that right now all right so I opened up my Google Chrome now for one of the two links it gives you just type it in for me the first link usually never works I have no idea why but they provide two links just in case and then just click enter you may be greeted with a screen like this if you're doing this on Google Chrome all you would have to do is click on advance go down to the bottom go to proceed and if you set it up the authentication, it will ask you for the username and password. So just type this in. I bet once we're on this page, the download for Dolphin will be in the description of the video. So then once you have that download, all you would have to do is press add, go to choose file, click on the Dolphin UWP that you just downloaded, click on open, go to next and click start. And once it says package successfully registered, we're going to head right back to the Xbox. I bet now that we're back on the Xbox, head down to the Dolphin emulator, press the select button on the Xbox controller, go down to view details, and change it from an app to a game. And then what we're going to do is open it up. What you want to do is when you go into this, you can press the select button to get into the setting. Now from here, what you want to do to configure your games is you want to use the left stick. Now we're going to go to general. We'll go all the way to the paths in the folders. Click on that. Go down. Go down again until add path. Click on this. Now look for your USB device. Go to the folder that contains your Wii and GameCube games and just go to select. And from there, it's going to configure your games directory to the new Dolphin. Also, in the path and folder section, very bottom, you can go to set Dolphin user folder location. Click on this. Go to your USB and look for your Dolphin folder. And just select that and it'll configure it with all your textures, all your configuration files, and everything you need. Now, with the new update of this app, there's still no controller support for changing the controls on the app. But if you guys need help with that, in the description below, I will have controller profiles for the GameCube and the Wii that should already be set to your Xbox. And all you would have to do with the controller profiles is drag them into your config file for your Dolphin folder on your USB. And then you should be good with that. Hope this guide helped. And if it did, please hit that like and follow for more. And I'll catch y'all later.